315, full of traffic. We want to be 2000 at Lake San Marcos. 54 feet right there. Yep, 54 feet up. Just use a little bit more speed and this power setting to this power. Yeah, we're going to be at Lake San Marcos. 2500 feet at Lake San Marcos. Yeah, we're going to be at Lake San Marcos. And make sure you look right that general, that's San Marcos right there. Okay, where's, where did he say he was at? I never saw him. He's down here someplace, so just stay okay. further to the south. Okay, I never saw him. He's very low. Gotcha. You see that green field right there? That yep. fourth field? Yeah. Right around there is, uh, oh no, further, you see that quarter round building? Yeah, so the, we're... The sheriff's substation is right around there. Uh, we're west of him then, probably. Yeah. All right. So now, just stay right here at 2,000. So the, the altitude profile is as follows. 2,500 at Cal State San Marcos. 2,000 here at Lake San Marcos. And then the, the hilltop in front of us, you'll see it has a white circle platform or tank or something. You want to be 1,800 over that. Okay. See how it feels kind of cold? Pull yeah. some car peaks. Says below 18 inches manifold pressure, ignore gauge and apply full carpet. Full carpet? Yeah. Okay. There's the carpet. Good. And uh, where do we want to be 18? Could you point that you out? You see uh, directly at 12 o'clock low, there's a white thing peeking through the bushes. Yep. You want to be 1800 as you pass by that. Okay. And then there's that white thing, and then there's a big, huge white building before the runway that's low, and then in between. There's a white building that has a bunch of trees around it. That's the Stater Brothers grocery store. Like At Stater Brothers, you want to be 65 knots and 1,300 feet. Okay. And so, a little bit past this white circle, you're going to want to take your collector friction off. Okay. Yeah. At Tower, it's uh, Charlie Gell, Foster Fox here, holding short of okay. runway uh, 27. Right off Oscar Fox right there, Belmar Tower. Have you got a minute? Stand by. Danny, okay. holding short. Okay, good. So directly at 12 o'clock, yep. uh, when you're over that building, you want 1,300 and 65 knots. Okay. And then at the last row of houses, you want 1,000 feet and... Uh, you want a thousand feet. Tower, five, two, correct, and sixty knots. Take my day. Okay. Thank you, two, Come to the right just a little bit. We we go right over Stater Brothers and then we try to follow that road and not overfly the houses if possible. Oh, the road over here. Yeah, Palomar, yeah Palomar, not Palomar for road, but this oh, road next to Palomar. That's where Trader Joe's and everything. Good. Yep. Yeah, you, you want to be slowing down. Palomar Tower. Slow down. 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 Because you made a big torque change. Okay. Good. And just slowly continue to let your nose come back, right? It doesn't matter that you're not exactly at 65. Good. Good. A little bit more red pedal. There you go. Number 815, turn left Good. and more red pedal. ground point eight. Left, and then you see how once you're in trim, you start turning right? Yeah. That means you need a little bit of left side. Okay, then we're just going to follow along. Follow this road? Okay. This one, not that one. Gotcha. Yep, or left side click. Your goal is, you know. Basically, make a straight no, line for the path. Uh, we the houses we, we want to be. At the last row of houses, you're at the right yeah. altitude, but you're a little fast. So we're going to do this together. Okay. By the time you're at El Camino Real, you want need to be 45. And then look to see where the H is. Okay. Right? Look to see where the H is relative to the different blue lines. It okay. should feel like it's not moving. This should feel like an airplane land. It shouldn't be moving left and right like this. Right? Okay. It shouldn't be moving up and down like this. Okay. So collective controls your angle. Cyclic controls your speed. We're a little fast, but part of it is, you know, if a gust of wind comes along, here's our 45 knots. 
looking at the and then look around. Use your peripheral vision okay. to see how fast this feels. We want to be 30 knots pretty soon. But if it actually looks really slow, but you have 45 indicated because the wind is strong, you're now looking at your movement over the ground. Okay. Like if you look at the ground, doesn't this feel like, oh, not unreasonable, right? Right. It doesn't feel like you're going to go careening into anything. It should feel like this, nice and under control. you see how fast I'm actually working the pedals for this? Yes. This is the biggest challenge for, you know, people who are already pilots. And we'll get people who are like part 135, 10,000 hour Gulfstream pilots, and this is still what they, uh, they are the worst at. And sometimes for them, it's extra hard because they're so tall or, you know, two, uh, they departure. just can't do it, right? Like they just, they're like, it feels unnatural to them to work this hard on the pedals. All right. So you have to stay with me. I'm with you. What I'm going to do is come slightly to the right of it so that we can go forward and down towards our landing spot. Okay. So we're a beam it. We want to go forward and down, forward and down, and all the way down, throttle down to 75%, okay. collect your friction on, collect your friction on. governor off, and, uh, governor off right here on your side, Sorry. I mean on your collective, collect your friction on, 